The NFL playoffs are here. And this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Pats and the Bills next on Madden NFL 22. Playoff fever has come to upstate New York, and there's a look at Bill Stadium here at Orchard Park. Tonight, we continue with Wild Card Weekend with what should be a great one between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. And we are underway in Buffalo. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And makes it across the 20.
set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. On the return is J.J. Taylor. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, well, get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Still nine remaining on second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. He finds Aguilar over the middle. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big play there for the Patriots. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation, and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second and five now. Jones, there's Henry, touchdown Patriots. Hunter Henry, there to make the grab. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it, solid, because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Kick it away after the touchdown. And 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And yeah, this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Second and ten. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's him. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Throwing his Allen on third. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start the drive with Harris. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll run again with Harris. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 57 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. To back good plays have them on the move on first down back to throw Jones he gets it complete to Harris and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds they'll contain him to just four second down caught that look from you there partner I think we're on the same page on that one just his first catch I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, he'll get this underneath to Stevenson. 
The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen finding Knox there, complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. <laughs> From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Throwing on first down is Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. On play action, Allen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to lead to a third down. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Now Allen. And that's complete to Sanders. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. 
On the handoff, it's Singletary. Five yards, now it's third and five. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Well, oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. One final try here for Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down, and the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 67 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. This is Harris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. On second down. It's Harris, and he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. down Harris five yards on the carry good pickup on first down this drive is pretty clear almost feels like old school fundamentals doesn't it want to impose their will on the defense was that five straight runs yeah five straight carries to start this drive and like you said the way it's working they may just stick with it On second down, this is Harris. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Yeah. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run with Harris. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 106 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. On first down. It's Harris, and now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the ground, it's Harris. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. A give to Harris. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Late game. That hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it. And this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Now Harris. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the gun at Stevenson and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line they do get six but they still got some work to do on third and goal and now the question everyone's wondering look at the clock late fourth quarter do they put the ball in the air here on third I don't I run the football and I tell my offensive line no leakage up front I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him I don't want any type of an issue but if I am going to throw it quick throw out to the perimeter maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that an important play right here third and ten and I would expect pressure here they'll try and run Stevenson and not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky when a draw works it can be a thing of beauty but when it doesn't oh it can be ugly and in this case Loss of yardage ugly.
Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Folk's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. This take it in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance.